high speed drag racing. Yeah. Sean's like being stuck in rush hour. <laughs> you know, that's that's pretty apt, uh, especially after the dealing with traffic on the way here. Yeah. That that really speaks to me. Uh, I'm not really sure I I haven't seen a lot of sets between these two now that I think about it. I'm oh. sure it's happened a million times because these two are both absolute fiends and go to everything. just about everything. <laughs> Anything with PM, these guys are there. And, Sean's uh, definitely yeah. won. He's won. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Oh, oh he's so going wolf. wolf. Oh, this is actually, this is definitely doable for, for Sean. Then. Gee, Sean if Sean wins this, I'm going to lose <laughs> I will actually... I'll, wa I'll walk we? to the Jewel Osco myself and buy myself an energy drink. I'm staying <laughs> up late tonight. <laughs> yeah, I I think it could definitely happen. Um, Chris's wolf is pretty decent, yeah. but I think if there's anything that could mess up a secondary wolf, it's going to be <laughs> Sean. <Yeah. laughs> Oh, it's, let's go. We got some 217 folks in here. He's uh, been putting chat. a lot of freaking time into uh, Wolf recently. Yeah, like, yeah. Especially in the last like couple weeks. He's just been like, whenever he net plays, he's like, Wolf. Yeah, I mean, I think his Wolf's always been pretty good. Yeah. And, uh, and I played some friendlies with it, and I was like, okay, this is definitely not the same as when I last played it. So uh, I think that this is, uh, this is for sure oh, that was not wrong. a joke. Yeah. Look, he's already got a little bit of a lead, at least. See, when you're on commentary, you're supposed to like point out specific habits is like a thing. Right. Like, you can write an entire dissertation on Sean's habits. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Um, I mean, <laughs> the way the way he uh, he he refreshes invincibility and throws waddles from the ledge. Yeah. I I started just like oh. going on a ledge, and it's just like, what are you supposed to do? Oh, ah. okay. He's still got control. Yeah, Not he, quite. Okay. Funny, once, once he gets like a really good punish game, Sean, he can kind of like afford use these random wins. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. He even gets caught. <laughs> I thought that that was way more difficult than uh, than it actually was because I didn't realize you could just hold the top button. I thought you had to like time it in some way. It's like, man, these guys are really doing unnecessary yeah. work. It's like, yeah, no, it's it's yeah, just. I think they just map it. it, right? Yeah, you can just like map it to to a button and, and hold it down while you're doing it. So it's a little bit less impressive, but it's still such a neat Easter egg. All right, Sean's still living, but uh, Chris definitely, he's doing a good job of when Sean is in control. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, but yeah, when, when Sean is in control, Chris is doing a good job of slipping out of his grasp. Uh, he's not just dying for uh, a single neutral loss, which is the danger when you're a space <laughs> against an edge guarder like this. <laughs> yeah, he gets him with the fully charged up pass. Yeah, I like how he shines away the um, Gordo. That's a oh, really yeah. smart tactic. Basically. Yeah, honestly, uh, just diffuse the uh, the very scary spiky ball. You'll probably have a better time. Doing some good stuff off a of grab here. Wow, that's big damage already. Yeah, Sean still doesn't quite have Another one. Oh, Gordo really helping out there. Just the DJ Khaled. <laughs> And that's the thing, like, oh wow, Ooh. great conversion into uh, into flash. Definitely seeing a lot more of those out of uh, out of Chris, and a lot more connecting. Any any people in chat, I'd like you to go through the vods and find out how many of these sets start on a middle three stage. Oh yeah, I mean middle threes. Just, I I mean because compared to Delfinos and uh, and Green Hill. The, the three middle ones are, are just way more uh, way more neutral. Don't, don't get too close, Chris. Yeah, yeah. This is don't where this is where uh, where Jank really makes his money. He just, uh, yeah, the make or break kind of thing where he like goes in, scares you, and then starts sucking. Yeah, yeah. And it's like if you played Jank more than once, you already know what yeah, he's, he's what he wants uh, there. But it's such a, a potent thing that it's just. It, I mean, it can just get you. Did you notice that Chris is wearing glasses now? Oh, yeah. I didn't notice. I, I, I don't look at people a lot. I, like, I'm just playing the game with them. Yeah. I, it's like, if you if you ask me what 
a lot of the the people I played friendlies with today look like or what they're wearing yeah. or something. It's like I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you quizzing me on? I'm trying to not get <laughs> not get four stocked by wild over here. All right. <laughs> I, have, I I I think I have that right. Just subconsciously, go. be like, all right, I'm gonna go talk to Chris and then right. I'll remember what he looks like. So. Right. Okay. But Got a good swallow. Yeah. So uh, my understanding is you can break out of that pretty easily now. Yeah. Like if you if you get put any kind of mashing on that. It was way worse in the earlier version. Oh Plus, yeah. I think. Yeah. Three uh, six even. So it's gotten some like kind of compensation buffs at this point. It's not quite as uh, quite as weak, but still weaker than three point six for sure. Sean, I have like opposite. We're like opposite kin on like stages. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I'm an FD <laughs> hater. He just uh, both stages so far have just been FDs. Right. Yeah. I mean, you, you got a couple yeah. FDs to choose from for yeah, sure. Yeah. You always have one. Ooh. Whoa. All right. We're playing in the dark. Never mind. Some uh, some lighting choices yeah. going on here. I thought we might have a blackout. Or something. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, hey, it's fine right. by me. Yeah, he's right. looking real good. Uh, okay, able to close that out. Yeah, up throw up smash. I mean, that's that's gonna kill with that percent basically anywhere. Oh, almost catches him. Did do some tech cases. Oh no, he does the uh, guest chasing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, th that's that's kind of. Not terribly surprising, Chris. Definitely, no, it's his style. definitely uh, about the uh, the tech chase reads. Yeah, I mean, it, it just seems like uh, Chris has been doing such a good job of uh, of maintaining control. He, he racks up so much damage when he gets an opening, and then doesn't give Sean the chance to do much in response. Honestly, just just in general, he's. Uh, his wolf is uh, is a lot more robust than it used to be. I think it seems like he's a bit more comfortable with uh, with escaping combos and with escaping edge guards. Yeah, uh, Jenks just kind of locked down at the ledge Ooh, here. Oh man, bear great there. combo there. If you're gonna get some uh, combos like this, you can get them on a big boy like DDD. Yeah, yeah, he's he's uh, he's kind of combo food. He's so. He's so big, you can combo him up for so long just because of his weight. Oh, wow. Great reverse fair. Jake's not out of this yet. He no. just needs uh, a solid stock and then uh, yeah, yeah, a like solid... A or yeah, exactly. I do think it's Sean. I don't know if it's a wolf problem. Oh, great. But considering... I, I remember his record with Adamus pre-quarantine being pretty bad. Right. And that makes sense. Like, uh, Adamus is really good. Too. Yeah, Adamus is... is really good. Okay. Yeah, that... Down smash, kind of close it out. So that's uh oh, but this is best of five territory. So we yeah, at least one more game of this. But I think that um, as much as we primed the viewers for like a slow set, Chris has been doing a pretty good job of staying on top of yeah. Jank and uh, preventing it from becoming a slow match. And I, that is a, a big thing with Chris. He kind of just uh, when he's when he's feeling himself, when he's not getting stuffed out, then uh, then he really just kind of takes control and runs over you. That's his, that's superpower, really. He just he imposes uh, high speed violence on you. Oh, we got not Chris in the chat. And Huge shout out to that guy. Absolute fiend on netplay and looking to uh, looking to to make some big waves once he's able to make a try point. Is, oh. is he going next week? Are you going next week, uh, not Chris? Well, I think. He... Oh, what the? Oh. <laughs> oh, you leave him? Uh, shout out to Joey. He's on his way out. What a treasure of a player. Okay, so uh, <laughs> while we were uh, while we were doing other things. Uh, Jank was able to get a stock lead, which I think that's for the first time this, uh, this set. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Whoa. Well, but uh, Chris tying it back up. Not a not a, a terribly good lead, but I think it's at least a good sign for Jank that he's still uh, he's still got some fight in him. He's not he's not uh, resigning himself to it. Okay, I'm down 2-0, and uh, this guy's good at the game. 
uh, still, still going for it. Man. Oh, great disruption with the waddle. Oh, that's a great reversal. Wow. Okay, that's that's some really good stuff. Um, uh, if that bear had connected instead of the, the waddle hitting uh, hitting a really, that would have been pretty devastating for uh, for Jang. But he's got uh, another stock lead to play with. Yeah. And the the thing about Jank with a lead is that's when he gets to go to ledge most. Yeah. I mean, he'll kind of go to ledge whenever, but the, the, when he's up, then that's when it gets really, uh, really stressful for the opponent. For sure. <laughs> yes, the next P Plus update will include a battle royale. Ninety nine man. This is, yeah, <laughs> this is, uh, this is confirmed Temple. by Ripple himself. How interesting I think that guy is. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, we got yeah, we've got some uh some 217 smash posts trying to ship post and distract me from this gameplay in which Jank is possibly possibly losing his lead. I think this is one uh this is one wolf combo away from being game in Yeah. If, if we're being real. I wish Sean had better chain grabs. Yeah, I feel like that would be so huge, especially because like he's he already is here on FD. Why yeah. not make FD even more difficult for your opponent? Yeah. I, he definitely isn't in practice at all. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was not fond of net play and, uh, and definitely powered down by net play. So uh, he'll take a bit of time to get back up to speed. But, I mean, he's already got a win on uh, Metroid under his belt for, for this season. So. But uh, I don't know it's looking a little bit rough right now. Yeah. Looks like Chris has been able to get control back and, uh, and get the lead back. Could be close. To, oh no! Kind of botched the pair there. Yeah. So this interaction between the waddles and the uh, lasers seems kind of interesting. They they're gonna tank the laser hits, but obviously get stopped by them. So it's kind of like I don't know. Both of their uh, their projectiles disrupt each other. I'm not really sure. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, we're going on the last stock, and again, this, oh, you got the, you're the top cancel. Oh no! Shine reflecting. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Um, to start sucking now, at the ledge. But the the thing is, is that since uh, since Chris has shown he's uh, he's happy just uh, reflecting the Gordo, uh, Sean's strategy of of going to ledge and uh, and and waiting for a Gordo isn't going to be nearly as effective. Oh, wow, great! He decided not to wait for the Gordo. Instead, uh, went in with a, a nice waddle dash. Okay, not done yet. Okay, this could be really bad for Chris. Oh, oh no. Sean messing up! Oh, no. Still, this uh, this is uh, definitely a tense situation. I'm not, I'm not sure what to expect coming out of this. Uh, Sean going off of the ledge without a Gordo is, uh, is kind of unprecedented. All right, now now we try this off the left ledge. Oh, okay, not quite uh, not quite able to get any kind of conversion there. But I think if Chris kills, he kills down smash. Oh yeah, <laughs> and like he's already filling. He, your, I think uh, he I think he agrees. He's like, I'm yeah, he's like that's a good idea. Oh, oh, that's that. great catch with the fair. Okay, so we've so got we've got a a game on the board for Jank. Now we're, I think we're going to get some with a little more platform. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm kind of curious. Uh, where the heck did Chris ban to have them go to FD? Because I would have expected that to be a, a higher priority ban. But at the same time, he probably didn't want like Wario and there. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's as many platforms okay, as you yeah. can get. <laughs> as many platforms as you can get. Uh, there's not very many places to run, but there's still two ledges, so anything can happen here. Yeah. But yeah, uh, the uh, the smaller blast zones is definitely going to reduce the uh, advantage that Jank's going to get out of uh, out of DDD's survivability, and it's going to make Aurelius combos kill even sooner. And I don't think he's had trouble killing as it is, but now it's going to be even magnified. Worse. Yeah. But this does help Sean. He's a fair like 70. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because there have been times where, uh, just because, uh, Kelso really has been doing a better job of recovering than, uh, than you might expect the average Spacey to. He's been able to live quite a bit longer. Okay, but that's definitely gonna kill. <laughs> oh, we got Mock in the chat, too. I chat Mock. Yeah, and... What a guy. All the all the Wisconsin guys, so much love for them. Can't wait to see them uh, have future try points as well. Yeah, Mock went to first uh, IRL event uh, for PM in Madison. Or Wisconsin in general, I guess. Yeah, I think that that would be cool to know. That whole scene is uh, just like absolute homies from top to bottom. So. No, why? Oh, He's so lit. Yeah, oh no. See, Sean's what we call a nice guy. No, the, so dude, I, I think he really thought he was going to live. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's like you, you input the aerial and then it's like, wait a minute. Still living, but that's... Wow, the, man, great the eye. It's not easy no, living why? in that... Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Now we've got a uh, we've got Chris swinging with a lot of smash attacks. There's the down smash. But uh, yeah, Jank doing about as well as he was uh, in the previous game as far as uh, getting a lead. Uh, got a little bit of extra credit, and uh, Chris is definitely at kill percent. But now he's trying to uh, trying to make this stuff disappear already. Ooh, up air. To... Oh, that is gonna go for, uh, for flash there. Oh, wow, yeah. There it is. And look, just like that, Chris is in the lead. Yeah. This, this is about as volatile as it gets. Uh, these guys are at kill percent at all times. Sure. Oh, great conversion there. Oh, no! <laughs> he got messed up great. there. Yeah, that was a little bit of an awkward angle, but also just good stuff to uh, Chris for finding the... Uh, he the actually just died. <laughs> Yeah, he shut off the stage. Yeah, holy moly. Oh no! There's his one SD set showing. Yeah, noises. that's not ideal. Um, I mean, with how fast the stocks have been disappearing, oh. it's like, it's not the end of the world, but it's not what you want to do when you're down 2 1. If Chris loses the set, that would be interesting. I don't think he loses the set. <laughs> Alright, well, now we have to root for Chris. We don't want mock quitting. We need more six zero suits in the world, so. Oh yeah. Yeah, this uh ledge game is just not quite as threatening when uh when you've got a stock to play with against it, you know? Obviously oh okay. Yeah. He didn't hit the uh He didn't cancel it. Yeah, yeah, and that was uh, that was a rough spot, even if he if he had uh, succeeded in making it back. Like that was just, uh, a difficult uh, difficult pickle to be in. But good stuff to Jank. I think that uh, he he was he was giving it his all the whole way through, and that's pretty important. Um, like he he was still trying to make adjustments. He wasn't uh, resigning himself to his fate. Yeah. But uh, it looks like I think we're.